I mean, it's, it's a good feeling. It's just like a, how it feels to knock somebody out. It's just like a shot going through your body. It's, it's like a wave going through your body. It's like a sensation or something. It's, it's the feeling you get almost like busting the nuts. Like the sensation is just rolling through your body. And it's just like it happens and it's so quick and, and it feels so good. My name is Tony Harrison. They call me Super Bad. Fighting out of Detroit, 154, the Detroit. No, I'm sorry, the Detroit. Growing up in Detroit is tough. It teaches you more survival than love. The first time I knocked somebody out, it was at it was at the playground at a historic Seven Mile Peterson Park. It, it was a guy talking stuff about my other boy, so I ended up sticking up for him because he wasn't a fighter. So, and the guy was like huge. He was super big. I was probably about four foot eleven. He was probably about six foot, two hundred and some pounds. And you know, so I ducked. I threw an overhand right, hit him right on the buttons. Bam. Made a name for myself. I threw my shoes over on the pole line. Hanging up there, I'm in the rafters now. Tommy Superman That's the way you make a name in the neighborhood that I was from. Um, that's the way you, you stop having everybody fuck with you and, and everybody fuck with you in a different kind of way, you know? So from that, my mom pushed me in, into the sport, not knowing the lineage and the, and the heritage of, of where I come from in my granddad box and my dad box. So at that age, I just was doing it just to do it. And my mom said, it's time, you know, it's time to put that, that negative energy into, into some positive, and I never looked back ever since. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, Tony Harrison. Tony Harrison's pro career started with 20 straight victories, but his most recent loss to Jarrett Hurd for the vacant IBF light middleweight title is part of a new chapter for him. And I really know pain, man, to be honest. You know, I, I think I lost pain a long time ago. Um, you know, I've been fighting ways out my whole life uh, from being evicted to losing my family, to losing my brothers, to losing my clothes, to losing money, to not having no money, to, you know what I mean? So, so for me, man, I, pain for me is just survival. In this sport, one, one fight can change your life, man. It's, it's, a, a fighter is almost compared to a team in itself. If you're the best fighter in the world, you might as well compare, you, compare one fighter to the Dodgers uh, because that's how big it is to the country. And that's, and that's how big it is to us. So. So for me, it's just, you know, it's about legacy. It's about pride, my family, and just the, the will to compete. And I love to compete. Harrison's family includes his children, who train with him at the super bad fitness facility he built in Detroit, and his cousin, future Hall of Famer, Antonio Gates. Ah, oh, man, you know what, man? Um, it'd be hard to, to kind of compete with what he's done. Like, he passed the GOAT, GOAT. Like, he passed Tony Gonzalez. So to even be in a mention, as him. Like, I feel like I've been doing my job in the, in the sport that I'm in. So to have two guys in the family to, to be going down in, in, in some kind of lineage and history for the city of Detroit, the people will respect the bloodline. And, and it goes further than just me and him. It goes way before that. So I think they, I think they respect the name Gates and Harrison for life. It's right in front of me, um, December 22nd. That, that fight, that fight is it's right around the corner. Um, Every fighter dreamed of that green belt, and, and for me, December 22nd is my opportunity to, to capitalize on that moment.